I just came back from a week in Mexico where I was thinking maybe I'd do a little bit of work, but ended up doing pretty much no work because we were um, scouting for places that we might move to and just enjoying meeting uh, locals and expats, et cetera. And uh, so now is the Monday where I'm getting back into a full schedule. And I just want to talk about, well, the, the, the very real experience, because I know a lot of you watching this do have that on a regular basis where you take some time off and you're coming back and you say, well, how do I get back into the groove? So I'm speaking from firsthand experience right now at you know 8.30 a.m. on a Monday. Um, so the key is, you know, and I know this about myself now, and I hope this, this is something helpful for you. The key is to be gentle with yourself as you ease back in because productivity stamina is a real thing. You know, you can't expect yourself to be off for one week in Mexico and then suddenly come back and have the same level of energy and clarity and focus as you do when you've been working regularly for a few weeks. So I, <clears throat> I understand that I have to be more gentle on myself, but what that means for me is maybe a little different than what most people would mean. Um, most people would maybe have a lighter schedule, which I think makes sense um, to have a lighter schedule when you come back. So fewer meetings, because especially if you're an introvert, fewer meetings, if you possibly can, can swing that. Um, but for me, because I'm kind of like, I've been practicing productivity for years. So I maybe this is a bit of a more advanced uh, level tip, but but basically I have I have quite a full schedule still because I've been able to create the breaks during the day that allow me to refresh myself. And so what I'm coming back to and how I'm how I'm being more gentle on myself is two things. How I'm being more aware of my stamina, which is lower now than it was before I left for vacation. <clears throat> two things. One is I have to be more gentle on myself in terms of being more strict about my rest and my breaks, that's how I can be more gentle on myself because I have to be particularly attentive to, okay, it's time to stop doing something even though it's not complete, even though it's not perfect, never perfect, and go and take my nap now or go and take my walk now or go and have my meal now or something like that. So, so that's what I'm reminding myself of, okay, boundaries with myself, take the breaks that I've already scheduled throughout the day. I do I do four naps a day. For those of you who haven't heard, um, it's true. I've done that for years now, four naps a day, <clears throat> 15 minutes to 20 minutes naps, four times a day. I don't always fall asleep. You can watch my other videos about naps, but, but at least laying down is really helpful. So that's number one. Number two is to be less perfectionistic about even less perfection. I'm already you know, a recovering perfectionist for, for years now, but to be even more open to making mistakes and to letting things be put out there in a messy way. Um, because, because otherwise it's, I'm being too hard on myself and then coming back with lower stamina means things will look messier. So, and I'm okay with that. And, and, and practicing being okay with that is really important. And that's being gentle on myself. Um, yeah, I'll have a whole other segment about how to be okay with things being messy in one's business, putting things out there in a messy way. Um, but for now, I just, that's all I'm going to say for now, <laughs> keeping stamina, keeping boundaries with myself, that coming back means actually to be more strict about my schedule is the way to be gentle with myself because my schedule includes lots of breaks and that's how I can, and, and putting things out there in a messy way. So that's what I'm practicing today and this week. And I hope, um, feel free to comment below. How do you come back after a break to get back into the swing of things? Um, comment below if you like, and uh, I hope this is helpful.